Hey everybody, welcome back. It's Greg here, Fish It. Custom baits. We are going to do this 7.1 inch Big Belly Shad. This is the first time I've done one of these. Biggest bait I've done so far. Uh, we're going to do a thread fin shad pattern. First thing we're going to do is cover this bad boy in some opaque white. y'all can see it in there but I tie rubber bands inside of there to try to keep that from getting paint inside of the hinges there all right we got all that opaque white on there we'll get that heat set and then we'll move on to some pearl now we got the pearl white loaded up in the gun here. Let's put a coat of that on there. Turn my fan on real quick. I get a little louder. Got the pearl on there. Trying to get that one heat set. Get the brush cleaned out. And then we'll move on to the next color. Gotta find the blue I'm gonna use. So I'm gonna try something here. I've got this transparent bright blue. I know the bottle looks purple, but it's actually blue. And then I've got pearl silver. I'm gonna mix. <clears throat> sorry. I'm gonna mix a couple of these together. Maybe like one drop with like three drops, maybe four drops of this, and see what it looks like before I spray it on here. So let's see. Um, there's a, that pearl silver. I'm just going to do one drop of the blue. No, I don't want to go too dark with the blue just yet. I can always add more. I'm going to mix this together. I think that one drop is going to work out just fine. It's almost like a sexy shad color. Let me see. Not sure if I like it yet. It almost needs to be a darker blue. I don't know. 
Let me put one more drop of blue in there. Darken it up some. Just trying stuff out here. Like I said, this is the first time I've done one of these big bellies. 7.1 inch. I can't remember what I used the last time I did the thread thin shad, so that kind of sucks. So I'm going to have to just wing it here. Alright, there's that. There we go. I'm going to get that loaded up in the gun real quick. And then spray it on there. <coughs> got a bunch of stencils from Shane study off of uh, one of the Facebook pages I think we were making show and tell maybe he uh, laser cuts these stencils and for the price that you pay he'll send you a bunch of them in different kinds and uh, they've been working out great I forget what mill plastic it is but you know it's thin enough but it's still thick enough it's thin enough to move it around the bait but still thick enough so you can clean them off really easy all right so we got the blue ready I'm just going to use this stencil just to put some detail on it and i'm not going to put too much on there come down the bait come back with some more pearl after this if I don't like it that much. Hit this side. Try not to get it on the kill plate there. that side all right now I'm just gonna take the same blue let me clean that stencil off real quick before it dries up on there just easier while it's still wet we're literally we're just gonna take a wet paper towel lay it down here and wipe it clean or almost clean, let's put it that way. There you go. <clears throat> Alright, I'm just going to take the blue and go down the back. Uh, 
There we go. Let me get this cleaned out and we'll be right back with the next color, which I think is going to be gold. So I got pearl satin gold up in here. And we're going to try to make a body line right on the edge of the blue right there. About two and a half scales down. There we go, just like that. How oh, well y'all can see that. Maybe a little better when you see it like that. This side here. you guys are not but if I am I apologize. Go really light, try not to puddle it up. this in here we're gonna hit around the top of the go plate here a little bit in here just a little bit too just on the bottom of it got the gold on we're gonna clean that out heat set it move on to our next color here 
All right, so final color we got here, we just got some opaque black in. And what we're gonna do is just run down the top side of here just lightly. behind the gill plate there. I'm just gonna freehand it because I don't need it to be perfect circle here. They don't want it to be a perfect circle. Something kind of like that. Less is more, right? I'm gonna go screw something up. All right, so I wanna put a little bit of detail on the top of the shading on the top of the fin here. So I'm gonna get me a little piece of paper. We are gonna eyeball going on here so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna mark it here my pen works I'm gonna mark it here and here and then we're gonna cut a little shape out and see if we can get it close Trim a little more off of this side here. All right, we do that. Should be good right there. Lightly.
come down off the eye just a little bit. like looks like there's a little shading on the bottom of the gill plate there let's try to hit that just a little bit let's see Get around the outside one just right here good with that and we'll get the eyes set on it and we'll be finished up all right time to put the eyes in I got these cool eyes from lurebuild.com they're 10 millimeter this calls for 11 millimeter but I like to go just a little smaller I hate getting ones that you gotta kind of squeeze in there and then they hang out halfway sometimes so I went ahead with the tins get this thing clear coated and get y'all a finished photo for the thumbnail on the video thanks for watching appreciate it it's fun doing these big baits so again thanks for watching um, if you haven't subscribed yet hit that subscribe button give me a like Actually, give me a comment. Let me know. I've got a couple of these blanks. Let me know what kind of pattern you'd like to see on these things. Because, um, you know, I, I can do whatever. I just, sometimes I just get stumped trying to think of something to come up with. So, give me some ideas. Alright, till next time, guys. Thanks.